Hey gang, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Got another greed run for you here. So, uh, as you may remember from the last episode, I gave out the character and the seed I will be using for this episode so that you guys could play along with if you would like and then submit your results. And uh, I do have some results to share with you towards the end of the run, so look forward to that. Now, as Kane, I do have the paperclip unlocked. I think that was something I got from donating to the Greed Machine. Um, if I remember right, it's a trinket, and I can open golden chests for free, something like that? We shall see, and I do start... Ooh! Piece of candy, I'll take that. And I do start with a key. Um, that is... is it Giga Fart? It's pretty garbage, so I guess we'll just take free hearts. Yeah, Gigafart's pretty bad. Um, so my stats, base stats are not great. We will be looking to improve those shortly. Let's go ahead and shoot poop and fire real quick. Now as we get started here, I would just like to do a little housekeeping for the Afterbirth series. Uh, you guys voted for it and requested it. Um, so I brought it to you. The first episode did fairly well, I will say. Maybe not the best for a first episode I've ever done, but uh, you guys showed it some love, I appreciate that. Second episode uh, is struggling. It is not doing very well. So if you guys really enjoy the series and you really want to keep it going, show all the love for it that you can. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but pretty much the single most important statistic as far as YouTube is concerned is watch time. So if you really love the series, one of the best things you can do is watch the whole video. Now I know with Isaac runs they can be a little long, uh, but again, you guys mentioned you wanted that. Um, we could always do edited runs if you want something a little shorter to watch, but full length runs is what was requested, so that's what I'm going with. Uh, but leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, leave a comment, even if you want to make fun of me for throwing the run, feel free. <laughs> Comments are helpful, they show, they show engagement with uh, the creator and the viewers, which is always a good thing. But again, watch time, watch the vidya. Even if you just want to listen to it, have it running in the background, really good percentage of watch time helps out all video creators, not just me. If you if you watch Generic B or B00 or some other YouTuber that you really enjoy and you want to help them out a lot, watch their full videos and that will be a huge help. More so than likes and all that stuff. Okay, I'm getting a little cornered here. Let's not do that. Oh, so this is only the, the third episode in our Afterbirth series. Um, I'll give it another couple episodes, see how things go. And if it's just not getting the love, then it's probably not worth my time to create the content and not worth your time to watch it. So I'll probably end up just playing on my own free time because I love this game. Uh, these are all garbage items. So we're just going to take a key and do a little more fighting and hope for, for better luck on the next floor. Uh, but yeah, so we'll give it a few more tries, see how things go. If you guys keep loving the series, I keep bringing it to you, plain and simple. Alright, so enough of that boring stuff, let's get into some more Binding of Isaac. Um, so, seated runs in Isaac. I'm, I'm not sure how they work, like how strictly seated they are, because there's a lot of variables in this game. Like, what items you have unlocked, what character you're playing as. Uh, luck stats and whatnot. Like if if I end up getting more luck than the next guy, um, then maybe if I open a golden chest, I get something different. So it's it's kind of interesting. But oh wow, I'll just take that to the face. But I think that's kind of the fun of it. Now, one thing I'm really curious about is items that re-roll you. Oh hello, hello. Okay, this is fun. Uh, items that re-roll you as a character that can change your stats and your items and stuff. Um, is that strictly seeded? Like if someone else gets re-rolled while they're playing the same seed, will they get the same results that I would? Um, these are questions I have no answers to. So if anybody watching is a wizard at uh, Binding of Isaac Mechanics and, and knows the behind the scenes stuff, I'd be really interested to hear that. Uh, but regardless, I'm really looking forward to doing this kind of, I call it the collab thing, because you guys can have some direct input to the series, you can share your results and see those on my videos and everything. Um, I'm really excited to see what you guys end up getting on some of these runs. Now, uh, let me know in the comments 
If you want to keep seeing uh, greed mode runs, or if you want to see me do challenge runs, uh, let's yeah, let's do that. Let's do the fight. Or if you just want to see some dailies or vanilla runs. There's a lot of options in this game now, which is awesome. So if you're tiring of the greed runs, you can always let me know, and I, I will always, uh, you know, consider switching things up a little bit. Maybe moving to a different type of run here in Afterbirth. Because it's all fun. I, I love playing the game. I'm really loving greed mode currently because you get great unlocks from using the greed machine and it's just an entirely new game mode, new feel and everything, so I'm having a good time with it. But uh, keep me informed on what you guys are thinking and I will keep that in mind. Okay, so this should be pretty easy as long as I take things kind of step by step, you know, not, not letting the fight get away from me or anything. I still have... oh, I don't think I killed him. I still have really low damage, so I definitely don't want to just pop all these guys open right from the get-go because my life would get bad. <laughs> my life would get real bad. But as it is, it's pretty manageable. And then we will see what we get from our devil room. Or angel, I suppose. Is, is it possible to get an angel room your first time, or do you have to like get a devil room, refuse it, and then you can start getting angel rooms? That's another kind of specific thing I'm not clear on, because I've never read up on it. I don't like to get too many super spoilers on this game, because there is so much cool stuff going on in it. Oh, Is that Abaddon? I know it's good. We're going to take it. Abaddon, yeah. So we get damage up, fear shot, takes all of our hearts away, but gives us six black hearts. And if I recall correctly, it is a very strong damage item. So this is intriguing. Um, let me do a quick double check. I'm pretty sure there was nothing good up here to buy. I could do pills since I'm Kane, but you don't really come across pills as drops very often in this mode. And I would never really care too much to purchase them. So I think I don't think that's worth taking currently. All right, what do we got? Oh, you're new. Glitter bombs, prize bombs, and keys. Okay, lock up. Interesting. Glitter bombs. I wonder what you do. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Um, oh, Jesus juice. Yes, please and thank you. And on sale key is worth grabbing. Let's put that there to see if we also get a secret room. No. And what do we got? All right, good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and blow these guys up too. Oh, so that's this brings up another question uh, about you know having the same seed and everything. Uh, if you guys played the seed, if you blow that up, do you also get two spiders and a nickel? Is that is that set in stone? I'm curious. Cause like with Spelunky, I've I've played a lot of Spelunky daily challenges. Those are all on the same seed. And that is absolutely strict. Like, everything that happens, um, like, the items you are provided... Uh, oh, gosh! Okay, you're up there now. Uh, the items you come across in shops, the stuff you get from opening chests, like, that is all guaranteed to be 100% the same. So, when you're comparing how you did to how your friend did, you have an e a completely even playing field, which is really nice. It's like, well, we were given the same things, and I did a crap load better than you, so suck it, guy. <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. So, I feel like there's more variables at play in Isaac, but I don't really know. I'm curious. I'm oh, Okay, I'll just run right into that and lose an entire spirit heart, because that's a good idea. <sighs> so, our damage is really good currently for, for where we are in the run. I would love to get a tears up soon. And then I'd really be feeling strong. Let's get rid of these conga lines. They drive me nuts. There we go. And then the wall spitters. Oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Things are getting bad. <laughs> all right. All right. That actually... Ooh, I stopped shooting just in time. I guess I stopped crying. These are all tears. So I'm not really shooting, am I? <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Oh, I need to start clearing you. Okay, there we go. Get him off in the corner. 
Whew, took a few more hits there than I really needed to. Uh, let's see, Tr extra trinkets, lame. This is only a half damage upgrade because it doesn't apply to all of your tiers. So that's lame. This is some kind of rolling thing that scares me. I think it... I don't know. Let's just take a little bit of health. Take two of those. Um, I, my cats are fighting in the background. That's always fun. Um, oh, oh, you're feared. I was like, uh, are we gonna, are we gonna fight? <laughs> Come at me, bro. I, uh, I don't know. But he, he's scared. He's scared of me, as he should be. But yeah, look at our damage. If we could just do damage more often, we are looking pretty. Oh, and if we could come across Whore of Babylon, since we're running on all temporary hearts, that could be pretty decent. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's, ooh, let's not get stuck in a corner. Oh, okay! The fear shot screwed me over there. Um, because he didn't actually fly across the room like he should when he jumped. He was feared, so he just came right back down where he was. That was unfortunate. Oh, but he kind of went the opposite way. Huh, I'm not really sure what to expect now. I'm a little scared. I need to be more careful. <laughs> Run away! Man, that went far. Seriously, Monstro? You been getting upgrades or what? Like that when his barf shot came pretty much all the way across this double long room. Jeepers, guy. Calm down, will ya? What? I, w I wasn't in the line of fire there. I was off to the side. I'm, I'm just getting salty now. I probably screwed the pooch there. Let's buy some more. <laughs> I'm gonna protect my good uh, black hearts. Let's see what we got here. Okay, a couple husks. Ooh, I oh, oh, ah! I got stuck. Oh, that did, did that do a full heart to me? Did I take a full heart shot? Dang it, man. Okay, lot, oh, okay, we'll just dodge into that. Oh, yep, yep, we'll just, oh my gosh. There's so many things on the floor that are blocking me, and so many critters that are getting spawned. I'm having a bad time! I'm having a real bad time, wow! Learn to dodge, will ya? Play some Isaac! There we go, that was good. I feel good about that. I don't see what these special bombs are supposedly doing. Like, I just hit a lot of enemies there. I expected it had some kind of effect on enemies. But it didn't seem to. Okay, so we took a staggering amount of damage there. I do not feel good about that. Ooh, I don't really feel good about fighting Krampus either. I hate his jump scare... Brimstone's like, oh, I'm gonna spin this time. Bet you didn't see that coming. Because I, I don't see it coming. Ah! Oh, I... <sighs> okay, guys. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be in this run, huh? We're just gonna spend all our money on soul hearts, huh? Alrighty then. Alrighty then. La ti freaking da. <laughs> I need to get my head in the game. I've I've been playing enough Isaac lately that my my skills should be better honed. I have no excuse. I'll put it that way. I have no excuse. Spare no expense. Um that's damage. I think getting a single heart container will not break my run. Sometimes that can be really good. Sometimes it screws me over. Eh, let's take it. See see if we get anything interesting. I I kind of don't like it just because it's really... Ooh. A little bit of defense. It's really hard to know... I don't know. To know how to play, because your your tears are just gonna constantly be getting re-rolled. It's like now we have my freaking reflection. Worst tear effect in the game. Congratulations. Um yeah. <laughs> so I cannot take Ipecac in this run. That has been decided. Oh, and see now we have the Protopsis or something where your tears uh, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of regretting taking that already. It does make the run more interesting though but not necessarily in a great way. 
in a, oh, I didn't see that happening, and I really wish it hadn't. <laughs> Buyer's remorse has already set in. But at least we still have good damage. Like, it's not going to change our stats at all. Could be worse. All right, come at me. Ooh, okay, now we've got the double shot. I really do like the double shot. Makes it so much easier to hit baddies. Okay, okay, just spawn right on top of me. That's fun. Fine and dandy. Just wonderful. Oh, they're closing in. The walls are closing in around me. <laughs> All right, so what do we have up here? We've got better flies and spiders and a little bit of defense. Let's take the defense. And we've got a tinted rock. Uh oh. Ooh! Okay. What do we got down here? We got some flies. What are you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check on this. Okay, we're just gonna walk away now. <laughs> that is missing number. I'm extremely glad that I checked up on that because th at the beginning of each floor, each floor, you will get re-rolled all of your items and your stats. Well, not your, I don't think it does your spacebar item, but all of your passive upgrades and your stats will get re-rolled. Oh, seriously? From downtown? But yeah, you'll get re-rolled. So in this mode, that would be horrible because this is all about crafting your, your build, your run, in preparation for that final Ultra Greed battle. And if you load into the Ultra Greed floor and you don't know what you're going to be getting, you could have a bad time. So I'm very, very glad that I was somewhat cheaty and checked the wiki on that one because I am avoiding that like the plague from now on. Okay, you, you know, you are taking a staggering amount of damage. Thankfully, it's not me for a change. Should be able to deal with you, no problemo. Oh, oh, hold still. Um, let's go ahead. We have a heart container now, so let's go ahead and do this fight. I still have a terrible, terrible tier rate, but I think we can work with it. Let's give you a bomb. Shoot your tail a little bit while you eat. Yeah, what what do these special bombs do? Cause I ain't, oh fail. I ain't seen them do jack. I'll use one more. Oh, seriously? Okay, well, we, we still got him in the the run around like crazy phase. Oh, get ruined. And what have we won? <gasps> Ooh, so this is the thing where you kind of have a trail behind you, and if you complete a circle, it'll make this pentagram that does damage. Not that great. I should be able to take this. Ha! Yeah. Oh, you know what? I should have... Ooh. I should have played him once when I still had the heart container. Oh, well. Okay, I, I kind of like that. I don't think I'm going to buy anything here. There's nothing to re-roll. I don't have many bombs, so I'm not going to blow those guys up. So I think we just move on along here. Some interesting developments on this floor. Very interesting, and now we're moving down into the womb. Let's see what we've won. A couple garbage items, but I don't have a space bar, so we'll take this. Mm, I'll take it. Are you a wizard? Screw you. Uh, ooh, okay. Tears and shot speed. That should help me charge my knife a little bit faster, I believe. Now, ooh, that's not very good currently. Oh, I wish I could fly, because I could go open that for free. We've got cash. Let's go ahead and re-roll these items. These are garbage items. Hello? Hello? Blow you guys up. Uh, ooh, nickel. I don't think I need more tiers up, because that's... Oh, hold on. Because that's not super important stat right now for me. So let's roll a little bit more. PJs will refill my hearts that I don't have and then give me some protection as well. I think I'm going to get that, actually, because I think it gives you a lot. Yeah, it gives you a lot. A lot of spirit hearts. 
I feel A-OK -okay about how that went down. Alright, where are you at? Oh, I couldn't angle the knife. Um, this could get ugly. I hate, I hate these digger burrower guys so much. Because when they pop up, they shoot Ooh, so quickly. It's really hard to react in time. Okay. Alright then, I'll just take a hit both times. Do away with you. Do away with you. Oh, I want him dead. I want him dead. Like it's my job. Oh, there he is there. Ah, see, look at that. How am I supposed to compete with that? There we go. He did. Okay, new phase, new wave coming in. Oh, oh, we getting, we getting lots of meat here. Lots of meat. Let's do away with some of you guys if we can. Who we got now? Some poops. Leave me alone, poops. Are there more? There's more poops! Oh, I got saved by the bell there. Or I think by the meat, the cube of meat. Pretty sure it, it was either the cube of meat or the knife that did enough contact damage where he, he got deaded before he touched me. That was a little close, okay. Um, let's do another wave here. <laughs> Alrighty then. La ti da. Ooh, all get so dead. Cthulhu lag. Uh, I don't like you, Mr. Fred, but you got wrecked. So that's all well and good. <laughs> I'm I'm liking where our damage is. Our range is max. Mm, the spider mod is fun, but not terribly important. Let's see what we can roll. Uh, that's all garbage. I do want to bring a decent amount of cash with us. Oh, come on. Quit giving me health. I want to bring a decent amount of cash with us, but it's also not a huge deal. Oh. Okay. Okay, good. So he dies quickly. I would like to take out the polycephalus as quickly as possible. There we go. That worked out quite well. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Why is our damage through the roof so much? Why is it doing so much work? Uh, yeah, that's... No. No, not gonna happen. Adios, bird. Go die somewhere. Oh, you're already dead. That's right. You're the dead bird. Well, keep being dead, because you suck. And you should be dead. You're a garbage item, and I hate you. This shouldn't really help us. This is a thing where if your tears go... Like, out of the wall, then they... Oh, cool! I never noticed that effect before. Oh, I can see through my head! Guys, you can see the knife moving! Oh, but like, it'll come through on the other side. So with the knife, not gonna help at all. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. Not gonna help at all. So we can't see our health on this floor, which is a little terrifying. This is a much better item than what we currently have. I seem to come across Jar of Flies every run, but assuming I actually remember to use it, it is pretty good. So I only have three charges on it right now, I'll just hold on to it for the time being. I'd like to take out some of these fires before they take me out, but I don't want to waste bombs doing it. <laughs> doing it. Uh, let's go ahead and pop some flies to help me clear out these spiders. Spider versus fly. Oh gosh, let's just run into that bone, why don't we? Alright, well played. Well played, Cthulhu. You are truly... Seriously? I thought the knife would hit him. You are truly an Isaac Master. You have all the moves and the skills to pay the bills. Okay. Alright, everybody calm down. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Everything is fine. Nothing is terrible. They're running into fire, doing your job for you. Okay. Oh, we've got we got red ghosts. Where are you at, red ghosts? I hate you. I want you out of my life so bad. Oh gosh! Freaking jump scare red ghosts. Ah! They're so tanky too. All right. All right. We're done. We're done. We did it. We're done. Whew. We good. Um, recharge baby, battery baby, whatever it is. Not great. Let's use a bomb to reroll. 
Um, what are you? Some kind of bomb thing. I'm not going to take it just because since I'm doing a seated run, it's not going to actually count towards unlocking it or collecting it. Wow, with the garbage items, though. Let's just take this. Two of spades. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, Teratoma, what do you got for me? Nothing. That's what you got. You ain't got jack on me. Okay, I cannot use the fires for cover, though, because they will turn on me the second they get a chance. Let's just try to take out as much teratoma as we can before the next wave or boss spawns. Woo-hoo-hoo! Where did you go? You just melted, Teratoma. You just melted, guy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not run into that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, he's taking damage. He's taking some damage. Nice! Wait. That was weird. I could still see him flying by, but he had already quote-unquote died. Oh. You look rather familiar. Ah! You jerk. You jerk and you're homing tears. Stop it. Stop it. Wait. I thought there was two of them. It was just one? Weird. Good enough for me. Oh. Good enough for government work. I don't think I need to buy or roll anymore. We've checked these out. I still don't use my jar of flies ever. <laughs> I still like it. I just never use it. And we move on down to the shop. Yes, indeedy. Okay, so our last chance. Woo! Woo! Oh, wait, I can't, I can't see what item it is that's doing that. Is that, like, Monstro's Lung that does that? Or Quad Shot? That's pretty cool. That's intriguing, but it's pretty late in the game, so I don't think it would really do that much for us. If you can get chaos early on, I can see it being useful. Oh, and there's no way to roll on this floor. Eh, let's just take some health then. Dang it, man. Alright. Oh, let's use some flies. Look at me. Skilled Isaac player. Player of the year award goes to Cthulhu 2 for using his space bar. <laughs> it always drives me nuts if I'm watching, like, Northern Lion or B-double-O play Isaac games and they never use their spacebar item. I'm like, you idiots! Don't you know how to play this game? And then, now I'm doing exactly the same thing. Exactly. This, ah, the same thing! That was fair and balanced. Thanks for that game, for spawning a spike block literally on me. Very fun, very fine. I enjoy it. Oh, okay, we've got a homing whatever spike block over there oh this knife though doing serious work for us working overtime even wait did, did my knife just home there did i have a homing effect all of a sudden i will take it <laughs> i ain't complaining ugh, 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 so much going on this is our last wave though so i just need to clear out these jerks don't don't be over there by that spike block please thank you uh, oh man, we have a lot of cash for going down to Ultra Greed, too. I think we've got homing again. Ooh, ooh. So we're going to have a horse. There he is. Okay, he's going to be coming down here. The horses aren't too bad as long as you're paying attention. <laughs> Why did I say... Oh, you're still here. I thought that block would have left. By now... I shouldn't have said anything about these horses. Gosh darn it. Who we got? Oh, is it the, the haunt type of guy? Uh, with a lot of skellies. <sighs> Take that to the face, I guess. He might even die in one shot, because he's got really low HP. Nope, not even close. Two shots. Alrighty, I've still got a ton of flies I don't use. So let's pop it now. And who do we got? You know what? I should have left the room and come back in, and then I think that, uh, that block would be gone. That thwomp. <sighs> These skeletal pins, though, are too spoopy! Five me! Jeepers, really, though. <gasps> oh, no! If only we still had tears! 
It's still a damage up though, right? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. We're not relying on health. Yeah, it's still a damage up. And now we look badass. Okay, I can't roll. Let's just buy... Let's buy this and see what else we get. Speed. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll take speed. Okay, so we just spent a lot of money. It, you really can't tell how much money the greed machine is going to take before it locks up, so I'm not too concerned about only going down with 30. I think that should be fine and dandy for us. Alrighty, Curse of the Unknown. Seriously? Give me Curse of the Unknown. So I can't tell if I'm close to death or not. Seriously? You troll game. Alrighty, Ultra Greed, let's see how you do against our high damage knife. You're not doing well. <laughs> you are not doing well, my friend. What? You think that hit me? You think that blast hit me? Alright, I'm salty. Confirmed. I am salty. So, I'm really confused by how Rainbow Tears works. Or the $3 bill or whatever it is. How it works. Uh, Oh, um, in rooms like this, because, like, you're not getting obvious waves and stuff, but my tier effects do seem to change, just kind of at a whim. So, is it, is the mechanic different than it used to be, or is there something, Ooh! oh, head of the keeper, penny tears, oh, this would be such a good tears run. That is such a good item for this mode, too, because when you're hitting an enemy, you have, it has a chance of dropping a coin. Which is, as you can imagine, really broken in this mode. <laughs> I got it once before off camera and it was awesome. Wow, you uh, you got a thing for bombs today, dude? Alright, you just want to take me down with you, huh? Because you know you did. Let's get some flies. Alright, he wants to have some friends. You can have You can have some friends. I don't want you to be completely alone. Not forever alone. Just mostly alone. Alright, so we got a few more friends coming. Not too big of a deal. Let's get some flies out. Do a little bit of damage. There we go. And these guys... Do, do they generate flies for me? I think they do, yeah. But man, we do such high damage. Ain't no thang. Ain't no thang. Yeah, you can, you can bring your guys out of the door. It's all good. Oh, okay, it's not so good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, there were more of them than I expected. Uh, no, 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 I want that key. Or coin. It's a coin, not a key. <laughs> Good job, Cthulhu. Okay, we still have 28 cents. That's pretty decent for the greed machine. I don't hate it, as long as we can hold on to it a little bit longer. Whew. You should die in a couple more stabs. A couple more stabs. A couple more. There you go. Phew. How we do? Hey, what is... What? Oh no. Can I not donate when I'm on a seated run? What's this 0% thing? It's like the... Showing the machine is broken where I am right now. What is that? I think it's because I'm in a seated run. Well, that changes everything. I did not realize. I guess that makes sense. Because if you get a really broken seed, then you can just abuse it and fill up your bank really easily. Well, crap. So that's the end of you guys collabing with me on seated greed runs. That's really... That's balls. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Nurgle had played this seed with Kane and shared his results with me, so I'll have that on screen for you guys right now. Um, so, to wrap things up, just want to mention again, show this series some love if you are enjoying it and you want it to continue. And we can always mix things up with uh, some challenge runs or vanilla runs or daily challenges, stuff like that. Uh, so let me guys, let me guys, let me guys, let me guys know what you want to see in the comments below. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Ultra Greed run, and I will see you guys again next time for some more Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. 
Okay, okay, just kidding. We ain't done yet. I don't really care if the uh, the greed mode seated runs won't let me donate money. I play enough of the greed mode on my own. It's not that big of a deal. I don't care if you guys don't care. Um, and we can also play other modes for this series if you would like to see it. Now, um, I do also have another submission. This one is from Jacob. He also go his channel is Jmon Vids. I'll have a link in the description, and I think he also goes by Goofy Goober if I'm not mistaken. So he played our seed. I will share a little clip with you, and then you can find the full video of his run also in the description. So check this out. Freak, die, 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 die! Get out, get out, get out! I have hor okay, horrible night to be here. Cursed, okay, okay. Ow, 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 ow. And if you liked that clip, I highly suggest you go check out his channel. I, I recognize the name from comments and stuff like that. He's been pretty interactive with me and my channel. Uh, but I didn't realize until posting that video that he actually does videos on his channel. And I think he's pretty good, so you should check him out. He does a decent amount of Isaac content if you want some more of that. Uh, so for this next episode, the next run, let's play as Judas. I've been enjoying Judas lately. He's a little, a little bit of a glass cannon, but he's a lot of fun and great for high damage builds. So the seed will be Q Z E H D four seven two, and just to confirm that that works, let's hop into the seed real quick. Here you have it, we are in the game, QZEHD472. So again, if you want to participate in the next episode, assuming there is a next episode that people vote for, uh, then play this run and either tweet some screenshots at me or tweet the video link if you happen to record. Uh, you can also do stuff in the comments as well. Uh, so send those things in in the next few days, and I'll try to get them into the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you again next time.